Yo guys, Spider-Bot here. We got some more behind the scenes mob of the dead. The most epic zombies map ever for Call of Duty. Maybe. We'll see. We haven't played it yet. Anyways, we got some information and this really piqued my interest. And it started when we looked at the trailer analysis. And this first little bit where they're showing their development environment in what looks to be some sort of cutscene. And we identified the character as Lev Kravchenko. And Lev Kravchenko was a big component of Black Ops 1 and played a small role in Black Ops 2 where he was killed either by Mason or Frank Woods. Um, so, okay, we thought maybe perhaps they were using that character model just because. I mean, they could replace him with anything. But then we have a little bit more evidence of this linkage towards these characters, or towards at least this character, but another one, we see that the upgraded AK-47 is in fact called Reznov's Revenge. Interesting, Reznov's Revenge. Reznov is the one who wanted to kill these guys. He brainwashed Mason in Vorkuta, and supposedly he died during the escape. So what could this weapon, Reznov's Revenge, have to do with this storyline. I mean, Kravchenko in and of himself, it's hard to say when we saw that trailer. But now that we have this a little bit more evidence uh, with regards to Reznov, it kind of makes me wonder. And when we talk about the time frame, okay, the time frame of this map, uh, you know, it's stated specifically that it's Prohibition era, these mobsters were in prison, they were planning an escape, and that's when the zombie outbreak occurred. So we're talking, you know, nineteen mid-1930s, uh, or towards the end of the 1930s, as far as I'm concerned. Well, Vorkuta and all the events of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 didn't occur until, you know, significantly later and if we look back to the character model of Kravchenko I mean it's the his older model it's his model that we saw in Black Ops 2 and we we have some comparison images so well what does that mean we you know time and space but really time and space in in <laughs> in Black Cod zombies Black Ops zombies really has no bearing I mean you could uh, you know, time travel, space travel, whatever, it doesn't matter. And uh, especially when we when we look at uh, the Purgatory Afterlife, which I'll discuss in a separate video, I mean, there are all kinds of opportunities for interrelating and tying in all these varying storylines. Now, what more can we uncover that may have some sort of impact on this? Um, you know, what, what what's going to happen? Is there going to be some reference to Kravchenko? Is there going to be some reference to to uh, Reznov. Now, the other thing that got me thinking are all these uh, these tables, these tables that contain candles and skulls, and the one that I spoke about yesterday in one of the videos that had some pictures behind it, and people were identifying it possibly as uh, pictures of the brain and, and your uh, spinal stem and, and, and other internal organs and a skeleton, etc. Um, is it possible, not only do we look at the, the advanced, you know, that hellhound that we're presumably we're sacrificing zombies to is it possible that we're also talking about some sort of resurrection and you look at the symbols like all the symbols that uh, are throughout the map and particularly on Reznov's Revenge the only two weapons that we saw upgraded were a Reznov's Revenge and b was the Blundergat the, bl the upgraded Blundergat um in Reznov's Revenge, there are all kinds of markings on it. Do these markings have something to do with these tables in Resurrection, possibly? Is, you know, is it possible that in the space-time continuum, somehow we're going to resurrect Reznov from the future? I mean, I know it doesn't make sense. I know I'm just trying to piece it together and trying to figure this out. You know, how, what's the connection here? What's the connection? Kravchenko, Reznov, the time frame, the weapon the the um the tables with and all the candles everywhere uh i mean to me that's not only maybe sacrifice but it could also signify some sort of resurrection so i, I don't know i don't know it's kind of interesting and i think um i think more of this may unfold when we talk start talking about uh, the afterlife and purgatory so kind of interesting what do you guys think and, and we do see some images as well or did see some images as well uh, while we're in purgatory of the uh, the sort of uh, uh, sacrifice slash resurrection tables. That's what we'll call them, all right? 
just because there's candles and, and writings and, and skulls, etc. So that's it. I mean, that's, I, I don't know. What do you guys think about the, this connection with the, uh, the old characters from Black Ops and Black Ops 2? I tell you, the more and more we look at uh, these uh, trailers and, and delve into them, the more and more I'm anticipating. As if I wasn't anticipating already. What the freak? Anyways, <laughs> we'll have more. We'll have more, plenty more today. And, um, you know, the 16th. Yeah, some spider and I'm out.